Hey guys, what's going on? John Hack here for Think About Comics, joined by William Thay. Today we're going to be talking about the latest issue of Batman. Let's get out of that glare. Issue number 90. Oh yeah. What'd you think, oh, yeah. man? Oh, I loved it. Wait a minute. Oh, my boy, he had to get some answers from his girl. Catwoman had to come up with the well, how this happened. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. I'm telling you. Had to break it down on the top of the building. You know what I'm saying? Look, what what, what is this about? Let me find out. They got Joker, Penguin, Riddler, her going to the designer, trying to figure out, you that know, the master plan, and then the Joker losing his mind. I love their old school outfits. Oh yeah, they, beautiful, yo. We got another look at the designer. The designer, hey, I gotta say, classic uniform. I'm, I'm, I'm loving it, especially when he was going over his uh, past of a detective that was uh, getting the best of him. Oh my God, yo, that that really resonated because it it, it shows you know I think maybe he's a uh, immortal or something possibly you know it it wouldn't even surprise me if he got uh, one of them Lazarus pits or something well, if, if, I mean if he's not a demon you know I mean let's like go that. back to his 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 main piece of his uniform yeah so like he's got on he's got like tiger strap tiger stripe pants on he's oh, got man. like a a royal thing but like that's not yeah. really a, a good photo. He I look, guess a good panel of him. He looking good though. I got Here's one of him, and he's in better color. He looks like he's a mashup of a bunch of villains. Yeah. Like he's got the cape. He's got Ra's al Ghul's like green. Uh, you know, uh, I guess his like uh, shirt. He's yeah. got the tire stripe. He got camo pants. He's got the tie. I think like he's like a mixture of a lot of villains. I wouldn't be surprised if. You know, maybe he's like some uh, like entity or demon of like a makeup of all the villains that ever were in Gotham or something. Could be. You know, who knows? Like he's a like that's his design. He's you know. I'm feeling a little Randall Savage in it too. Yeah, I definitely. Yeah, I, yeah you know absolutely. What I'm Yo, I, I'm telling. Hey, I'm telling you, the, the designer. That's that's gonna be the character. I mean, I don't know. That's like, I mean, obviously, character. people are speculating on on this punchline character. Yeah. But the designer, I mean, this this book shows that, like what yeah. his worth is. Like, hey, this guy's legitimate. He's oh, yeah. a legitimate oh, yeah. rogue for for Batman. I'm liking it. Um, I'm liking and, it. And and what I like about this is like, unlike uh, Hush, you know, when she when Batman and Catwoman disagree, they kind of break it off. Like here, it looks like they're actually working. They're trying to work through it. Yeah. And and the dialogue is so much more better in, in oh. this than it was in the past with, you know, the bat and cat bullshit. Oh, yeah. You know, here, he Ooh. calls her Selena. Yeah, he do. By yeah, her name. Yeah, yeah, and she yeah, calls yeah, him. him. Yeah, Bruce. Yeah, yeah. By his name. Yeah, Holy yeah. shit. Hey. Yeah. You know. It's, it's like, you know, that's something new. We, we you know, we, we're a little bit more mature now in the relationship. We could be on the street. At the top of the building, calling each other's name. But, I like but, that. Though. But what I also like about this book <laughs> yeah. is that not only does it continue to tell a great Batman story, uh -huh. but it, it does something that I think a lot of comics have, have forgotten on how to do. When you're telling a comic book story, obviously they have build up for that next issue. Yeah. But this one is not only telling the current story, but keeps on building up to this new one. Yep. We already been teased with the Joker War, and these panels. Of the Joker just yep. being absolutely vicious and being badass, you know, just hypes you up to see like, hey, you know, you know, obviously the Joker, he's got his own things going yeah, on. Yeah, but yeah. But what is he gonna do? Yeah. And I think they're doing a yeah. great job of making me um, stay intrigued with this series, like yep. this story, and still getting me excited to see what they do in Joker. Where I think that's where you know we're yeah, gonna we get in. Yeah. And I and hopefully you know this punchline stuff doesn't overshadow it because I know for a lot of people I think this is this is one of those harder books to read right yeah. now because of hey look um, I know I talked about this in my other videos but you know if you're reading Batman and yeah. you know all of a sudden two issues peak you know you had eighty nine peak you yeah. had uh, seven was it seventy four where Alfred died yeah Alfred died yeah. so you've had two key issues peak that really make yeah. up a lot of the storyline and yeah it's like. You can just wait and get it on second print if you're a reader, but at yeah, the same time, that second print comes out what two weeks, three yeah, weeks. Yeah, you're all you you know you might be behind in the story, and I, I think what Batman's coming out what two, twice a month. It, uh, it feels yeah, like it, it feels like it, but you know, I mean, his thing though. Not only am I geek about the story, but the intro isn't even them. The intro is Harley Quinn talking to uh, Destro. Yeah, and. That we got cool. That is nice because now 
you got me thinking about that dynamic too. You know what I'm saying? That that's that's another little story. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, yeah, I'm yeah, going. I definitely, I'm really, I'm really liking this. I like what Tinian's doing. I, I can't wait to see what 91 holds in 92. Oh, yeah. oh man. Yeah. Uh, I think you know 92 is probably going to be a little bit of a pike. I think that I mean a, a spike because that's punchlines. What first cover? Yeah. You know, if you want those covers, guys, best thing to do, best advice, go to your shops. Special order these yes. books if that's what you want. Don't yeah. be Get them in one your of these list. guys that are you know even if it's in your port pre order and pay ahead. Go online to these other places if your shops you know pulling it from your pull list and charging you. Definitely go on like what Midtown shop uh, yeah. online stores pre order it there. Stay off that second hand market because you're going to be paying more. If you paid twenty five dollars or forty dollars for Batman eighty nine, it's a it's a waste, man. I'm telling you guys. This book, these books are getting printed at 120,000, yeah. you know, issues of print run. That's not worth those 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 prices. I don't know what Hell Risen Three was, but well, that, that one's got to be yeah. that one's got to be lower. Okay. I mean, at my shop, I was one of the three guys actually pulling it. So you know, those are kind of the books that you. Uh, I'm not saying to invest in, but you know, that was something that I would I would I might take that gamble on, yeah. but. You know these main. You know Batman's one of their best selling characters. Yeah, they're, so they're gonna, gonna make they're them gonna, like a, yeah, exactly. Like a, yeah. So with that being said, guys, you know continue reading comics. You know buy yes. these books smart. Don't be you know killing your killing your wallet over them. Support your local comic book store, Please even go. though sometimes they might not be supporting you with these <laughs> spec books. It is what it is, guys. Yo. As always, thanks for watching. Give it a like. Give us subscribe. Hit us up in the comment section. We'll try our best to get back with you. Thanks. <laughs>